In February, hundreds of people converged on Sand Hill Road for a party thrown by Andreessen Horowitz and the defense contractor Anderl to send a loud message. America is under threat and now is the time to build. Many attendees were tracking the arrival of a group of mostly male 20-something entrepreneurs who call themselves the Gundo Bros. They were posting live updates of their journey on a party bus from El Segundo, the neighborhood adjacent to LAX airport and home to major defense contractors. Sporting mullets, chewing on nicotine patches, and crushing energy drinks, the group sang patriotic songs while charging up the Pacific 101 highway. At one point, they stopped on the side of the road to pray, and to launch a drone. Tracking their antics from afar on X, a 16Z founder Mark Andreessen spurred them on. Drive faster, the party's starting. The unofficial Stanford Defense Tech kickoff party was advertised as a public rebuke to the university, where, weeks earlier, a student panel at the Stanford Graduate School of Business had denied an application to form a defense tech club. In the years since an employee revolt at Google prompted the tech giant to drop a major Pentagon contract in 2016, venture capital firms have responded by pouring more than $100 billion into defense tech companies, giving rise to a new generation of military-facing startups led by colorful, patriotic founders like Palmer Lucky, the billionaire founder of Anderl known for donning Aloha shirts, a mullet and signature goatee. In Lucky's mold, the Gundo delegation has emerged as the face of this trend, loudly promoting their new flavor of Silicon Valley hustle. They pump iron while they code, host weekly bonfires on the beach, and shotgun energy drinks. They're calling for a return to America's hardware building roots in El Segundo, where pioneers like Jack Northrup and Alan Lockheed built the pillars of America's arsenal. And they embrace effective accelerationism, a philosophy that calls for technology to advance no matter the cost, and which counts Andreessen as its poster endorser. Entrepreneur Isaiah Taylor, who started his nuclear reactor company, Valar Atomics, in El Segundo last summer, describes the Gundo founder, Zeitgeist as, essentially, a 1950s cigarette ad. The vibe is that America is back. Dudes rock. Nicotine is good actually. We're going to the moon again. And Mars. We're tired of only software companies coming out of America. He wrote in a message to Forbes. It's good and awesome to defend our country and to build weapon systems that do that. It helps that the vibe is also endorsed by a $500 million fund launched by Andreessen last year in support of American dynamism the belief that American companies should be building America's future.